Dan Perry here with another TCP IP tutorial for Dan on Tech. In this video, we will revisit the ARP utility, the ARP protocol, and we will uh, try to answer a few questions I've had about it from students. Um, if you remember that the ARP utility, or ARP protocol rather, allows us to find a MAC address. when we know an IP address. So if we know the IP address of a machine, we can find its MAC address. Now, the ARP protocol does not work across different networks. <clears throat> the ARP protocol is only for a local LAN or network. So if you need to find the MAC address of a machine in a different network, this will not do it. Uh, the, <clears throat> the ARP utility doesn't cross, or ARP protocol, do, pro, protocol does not cross routers. So what happens is that you need to send a message from computer A to computer B, and they are on the same network. Well... Because they're connected on the same network, we can give messages to them, and we don't have to go through a router. As long as everything's on the same network, it's on the same router. However, when we're on the same network, the way we deliver a message is through the MAC address. Through the MAC address. That MAC address allows delivery because your network card only looks at the MAC address. It only looks at that layer 2 information and if the packet is addressed to that machine or it's a broadcast then it will read it and pass that message up to layer 3 to check the network address. So machine A needs to send something to machine B. The first thing it does is it looks internally in its ARP table P, not B. If it finds the MAC address in its ARP table, it goes ahead and just sends that message from A to B. But what if it's not communicated with B or not communicated in a long time? When it looks in its ARP table, there's nothing there. So it then sends out an ARP request. And that's a broadcast. Since it's a broadcast, it will see, be seen by every machine on that network. Well, that broadcast comes out. It's seen by machine B. B looks at it, says, this is a broadcast. I need to look at it. It passes it up to the network layer. The network layer looks. It finds out that, hey, this is an ARP request for me. It's looking for my, my machine or because it's got my IP address. That ARP request does have the IP address of B. So, well, B looks at it and says, okay, I need to respond to that. What B will then do is it will create an ARP reply and that ARP reply will be sent back and the ARP reply has the IP address and the MAC address of machine B. So when machine A sees that ARP reply it looks at it says oh now I know the MAC address of machine B I can now send messages to it. Messages within a local area network are sent based on the MAC address. Messages on uh, various networks, they get from network to network based on the IP address. So that's another quick overview, hopefully a little bit more detailed explanation of how the ARP protocol works. Well, thank you for watching this Dan on Tech video. Please subscribe to this playlist so you don't miss future videos. And please check out and subscribe to our other 
uh, Dan on Tech channel playlists.